Engage Operation Defender. Verify Special Task Force location. Leadership League HQ to Agent G. Agent G here. Initiate Operation Defender. Copy, Chief. Loud and clear. Over and out. Identification confirmed. Agent G. Access granted. Welcome to the Defender Room. I'm Agent G. I'm here to show you the ways to act and react to the dangers of bullying. I don't act alone, though. I'm part of a network of highly trained professionals called ATA Martial Arts. And you're not alone, either. You, too, can become a part of the ATA network as well, which will give you the strength and confidence to deal with tough situations. My mission for you today, should you choose to accept it, is to become empowered and prevent yourself and others from being bullied. Now, who here wants to stop bullying? That was pretty good, but I think you can do even better. This is an important mission, and we all need to commit. If there are any parents in the room, you too should answer up. OK. Now, who here wants to stop bullying? I can already tell you're strong enough to complete this mission. At the end of this mission, you'll become part of the Defender Network and gain access to classified information. Here at ATA Martial Arts, everyone's goal is black belt. Even if you aren't a black belt, you can still act like one. Now let's go over some black belt rules. Rule number one, black belt attention. There are two postures to take when listening to instructions, either on a black belt knee or sitting like a black belt. Rule number two, black belt attitude. Black belts always show positive attitude and courtesy. We respect each other by saying, yes sir, and yes ma'am. But don't worry, your ATA instructor will help you remember if you forget. Rule number three, Rule number three is extremely important. The Karate Kid Bullying Prevention Promise, which was created with the help of our friends at the Elveus Bullying Prevention Program. So stand up, raise your right hand supported, and repeat after me. I will not bully others. I will try to help other kids who are being bullied. I will try to include other kids who are being left out. If I know another kid is being bullied, I will tell an adult. Great job, agents. Now let's sit like a black belt. Okay, agents, the first thing to know is what bullying is. Bullying is when someone repeatedly and on purpose does or says mean or hurtful things to another person who is unable to defend themselves. Bullying is destructive behavior. It not only hurts those who are being bullied or those doing the bullying, it also hurts those who watch it happen. Bullying is very common, and it's important to know what it is when you see it. Now, as an agent of the ATA Defender Network, you must learn a drill called Observe and Report. I want you to observe these scenarios and report to me what you see by answering my questions. It's mine! No, it's mine! I had it first! No, you didn't! 
Okay, now that you've observed, I want you to report. Was this bullying or not bullying? If you said not bullying, then you are correct. While these girls should find another way to resolve their conflict without arguing, no one was being bullied. Now let's take a look at this scene again, but this time I want you to pay attention to the difference. It's mine! No, it's mine! Ow! Loser. <laughs> was this bullying or not bullying? Agents, report loud and clear. Now. If you said bullying, then you are right. Bullying usually involves an imbalance of power or strength. And in this case, two girls ganged up on one, which isn't fair. And they called her a name. Name calling is the most common form of bullying, and it can lead to far worse problems. Name calling can be verbal or in writing, like texting or on the internet. Okay, let's try this one. Observe what happens. Sorry, my bad. So was this bullying or not bullying? If you said not bullying, then you're absolutely right. Mistakes happen, and the other kid apologized. Now let's take a look at the scene again, except this time, there's a twist. Oh, sorry, my bad. My mistake. Gosh, I'm so sorry. Okay, now seeing the difference, was this bullying or not bullying? You're right, this is bullying. Bullying usually involves a pattern of behavior repeated over time. Just once might be a mistake, but if it keeps happening and it's intended to cause harm, then it's bullying. Now let's see what happens here. Sorry, we were saving this for someone. So agents, was this bullying or not bullying? If you said not bullying, then you're correct. Just because they were saving the seat for someone else doesn't mean they were intentionally trying to harm him. Now let's take a look at the scene again, but this time, I want you to notice the difference. <laughs> All right, agents, was this bullying or not bullying? Report loud and clear, now. This was bullying. The other kids had no reason not to let him sit there, except to be mean. Now let's go over different situations where there is bullying and not bullying. Did you know you can stop bullying before it even happens? That's right. Thinking ahead can help you avoid situations where you might be bullied. Let's go through some different places and you will observe and report loud and clear where you may be more likely to get bullied. Defender agents always think smart and always watch out for bullying. Just like in traffic signs, red means look out, you better stop. And yellow means yield, but still look out for what's ahead. I want you to observe the following zones and report whether you think it's a red zone or a yellow zone. A red zone is a place you really need to be on the lookout for potential bullying. A yellow zone is a safer place where you can probably find help a little more easily. Let's give it a shot. What do you think of this area? Red zone or yellow zone? Yellow zone is the correct answer. Yellow zones are places where there's effective adult supervision or friends you can count on. In this area, red zone or yellow zone? If you said red zone, then you're right. Avoid places where you will be alone and away from friends and adults that can help you if you're bullied. How about this area? Red zone or yellow zone? If you said yellow zone, then you're correct. Areas that have families are better and safer to be around in case you are bullied. 
What do you think? Red zone or yellow zone? Red zone is the right answer. Avoid groups of older kids, especially if you don't know them. How about here? Red zone or yellow zone? Red zone is the right answer. When you're alone, you can easily be bullied. It's better to be in a place with effective adult supervision. And best yet is to be with other kids who are friendly, those you know and trust. Because remember, there's always more safety in numbers. So why are there no green zones? That's a great question. The reason why we didn't show any green is because you should always be alert. So now that you know how to think smart like an ATA defender agent and avoid red zone areas and bullying, let's talk it out with your parents and instructors. Congratulations, agents. The best way to prevent bullying is to avoid situations where you could be bullied. But what happens if you are bullied, though? One of the hardest things to do in a difficult situation is to think clearly. If you're bullied, you might get angry, frustrated, scared, or even sad. Many times, bullying can be so emotionally harmful that kids who are bullied will react by crying or even fighting back. This will only make the kid who is bullying feel more powerful. So it's critical to think before you react. One thing that can help is doing something called tactical breathing. As you know, breathing is something you have to do every minute of the day. When you breathe in, oxygen travels to your lungs. The lungs help circulate blood to your brain, which in turn helps you to think smarter and to act cool. You may not even know it but you could be holding your breath when confronted by a bad situation. By stepping back and taking a quick tactical breath, it helps you think more clearly and know how to react. Remember, ATA Defender agents always think and act cool. Breathe in through the nose, and out through the mouth. Now you try tactical breathing. Step back, take a quick breath, and think. Breathing helps you keep your cool. Great work, agents. So now that you're thinking clearly, what should you do if you're in a bad situation? Okay, so Andy was smart to take a second to take a tactical breath and think. Now let's see what happens here. You're stupid. And? Someone bullying you is usually trying to get a big reaction. Saying things like, and, or so, are good because they don't make the situation worse. Plus, they're easy words to remember. And? Whatever. Good thinking, Andy. Andy stood his ground and didn't provoke any more conflict. Now why don't you try some of these techniques? Okay, agents. Another important thing to work on is how to walk and stand. Which one of these kids is less likely to be bullied? Kid A or Kid B? Again, which kid is less likely to be bullied? Kid A or Kid B? Agents, report loud and clear. If you reported Kid A, then you are correct. Someone who stands tall and looks confident is less likely to be bullied. Now I'm going to show you how to stand when you're carrying a backpack or books. Now I happen to be right-handed, so I'm carrying my books in my left hand. You might be asking yourself, why would you carry your books in your weaker hand? 
because you should have your stronger hand free and prepared to react. It also helps to hold your books behind you in case someone tries to grab them or knock them out of your hand. Now it's time for you to practice good posture. The next important thing to know is how to keep your distance. If someone can't reach you physically, they can't harm you physically. Let's observe this scenario. Yo, kid! Jack knew what to do. He had a strong posture and he kept his distance. Now it's time for you to practice keeping your distance from someone trying to bully you. So far, so good, Chief. Wow, these agents are really learning fast. Excellent. Keep up the great work, Special Agent. Roger that. Over and out. Okay, agents. Just like how you stand, your eyes and expression will also make a difference. By observing these kids, report which one looks strong and not strong. Strong or not strong? Report. Strong or not strong? Report. Great job, agents. It's pretty clear to see which one is less likely to be a victim of bullying. Now, keeping your concentration is hard, especially if you're being bullied, so it's important to practice. Here's a strong look. And not strong. You see the difference? It's important to not confuse strong with mean or angry. Now, practice a few strong and not strong eyes with your friends. Also try practicing in front of a mirror, so you know how it feels to have a strong face. Knowing how to speak will also make a big difference. Let's observe these kids say the same words in very different ways. the exact same words, one would be more effective at preventing a bad situation. Report which one was strong and which one was not strong. Strong or not strong? Report. Strong or not strong? Report. That's right. Knowing how to use your voice is an important way to stop someone trying to bully you. If you noticed, the strong girl didn't chase after her backpack. It's always better to let your things go and immediately report what happened to a teacher. Knowing how to speak with confidence isn't only important if you're being bullied, but it will also help prevent being bullied in the first place. Those who are bullied are usually people others think are weak, and how they respond to bullying has a lot to do with being picked on repeatedly. Once again, let's observe two different ways to say the same thing again. Would you like to go to karate class with me after school? Would you like to go to karate class after school with me today? Once again, they're saying the same thing, but I want you to report to me which one sounds confident and which one sounds not confident. Confident or not confident? Confident or not confident? 
Great job, agents. I also want you to notice their eye contact and posture. When you speak to someone, look them in the eye, or just above the eye. Even if it's someone trying to bully you, it shows them that you're strong and not going to be bullied. Now why don't you try saying different things in different ways? Try it with your friends, your teachers, and your family. So that way, you can get used to sounding confident all the time. Remember in the bullying prevention promise, we say that if you know another kid is being bullied, or even if you're being bullied yourself, you must tell an adult. It's important that you do this to prevent the bullying of yourself and others. But it's important to know the difference between tattling and telling, or what the defender agents call reporting. Tattling is trying to get someone else in trouble or to get attention for yourself. Telling is reporting harmful activity to a person of authority to get help to make it stop. If you observe bullying behavior, report it to an adult so you can get protection for yourself or someone else. Just so we know the difference, observe these kids and tell me which ones are tattling and which ones are reporting. Go ahead and say it out loud. Sarah's really clumsy. She dropped her bag and her papers went all over the floor. Is this tattling or reporting? Agents, report loud and clear. If you said tattling, then you're right. An accident is not the same as being bullied. If you need to report an accident, you can tell the teacher that there's been an accident. But don't embarrass someone by name calling. After all, it was just an accident, and everyone makes mistakes. Let's take a look at this. Is there a problem? I saw Daniel getting shoved into the wall by two older boys. They called him really mean names. They pick on him a lot. Was he tattling or reporting? Agents, report loud and clear. Now, did you say reporting? Then you're right again. Not only was he right reporting this incident, but specifically saying who was being harmed and where and when it happened will help the teacher get to the bottom of this so that all the kids can feel safe at school. These two girls are sending me nasty text messages. I tell them to stop, but they won't. They just keep getting meaner. Is she tattling or reporting? Agents, report now. Did you say reporting? Then you're correct. Bullying isn't always physical. Name calling, harassment, and cyberbullying over text messages, computers, and emails are all types of bullying, especially if they happen repeatedly by the same person or group of people. Now let's see what happens here. What can I do for you? Mark put us back on the wrong shelf. Was he tattling or reporting? Agents, report loud and clear. Now. Tattling is the right answer. Just because someone made a mistake doesn't mean they're trying to bully someone. The right thing to do is to tell that person they made a mistake. If they fix it, then there's no problem. You should only tell an adult if someone is purposely trying to harm you or other people by their actions. Now let's practice different scenarios and decide whether they be tattling or reporting. We're on the home stretch, Chief. We're even ahead of schedule. Excellent. The classified report is cleared, so you can share it with the agents when they complete the mission. Copy. Over and out. OK, agents. Now you know how to think and react when bullying happens to you. But what do you do if you see bullying happening to someone else? In this next step, you'll learn to become a defender. This is the Olveus Bullying Prevention Circle. This represents the different people involved when bullying occurs. It's pretty obvious who is bullying who here. We'll call her A. This person is the leader. They decide who is going to be bullied and what is going to happen to them. These kids are followers and are actively making the bullying worse. We'll call them B. 
These kids are supporters of the bullying, but aren't as aggressive in causing harm as the B kids. They may like kids in A or B and want to be part of the group. Let's call them C. These kids like what they see, but aren't taking an active part. We will call them passive supporters, or D. These kids aren't getting involved. Let's call them disengaged onlookers, or E. These kids don't like what they see and want to help. They're possible defenders. We'll call them Group F. This boy doesn't like what he sees, and he's confident enough to do something about it. And more importantly, he knows what to do about it. He is a defender. He's a G. Now you know what the Olveus Bullying Prevention Circle looks like. It's clear you can make a difference to someone who's being harmed by the role you choose to play. Many people watching someone getting bullied won't do anything because they don't want to be harmed or bullied themselves. Or maybe they just don't know what to do when they see it happening. Either way, it just makes it worse for the kid that's being bullied. An important thing to know is that most of the time, people who are being bullied are alone or have friends that don't know how to help. If you help get them away from the bullying, then neither of you will be alone. Stick together. There's power in numbers. Here are some things you can do if you see bullying happening. First, you should never join in on any bullying behavior. This will only give more power to the kid who is trying to bully another person. Instead, you should try to get the kid who is being bullied out of the situation by calling his or her name out loud, asking them to join your group. Report the bullying to an adult. If you feel safe, you can tell the kid who is bullying to stop. Reach out in friendship, or try to support the kid who is being bullied in some way. Now let's practice these and some other ways you could support another kid being bullied and become a defender. You can be a G. Congratulations, you completed the mission. Now to confirm your status as a defender, let's repeat the bullying prevention promise. So stand up, raise your right hand supported, and repeat after me. I will not bully others. I will try to help other kids who are being bullied. I will try to include other kids who are being left out. If I know another kid is being bullied, I will tell an adult. Excellent job, agents. You've now earned access to a classified report. Agent G to headquarters. Headquarters here. Please download the classified report. Do you want to know how I got the title Agent G? Remember the drill, observe and report? That not confident kid? Well, that was me. Remember when this happened? Stop it! Leave me alone! I wanted to help her, but I didn't know what to do. I also knew if bullying could happen to someone else, it could also happen to me. But I didn't know how to defend myself, let alone defend someone else. Then I met some people who could help. I learned how to defend myself and gain the confidence to help others. Now that's me after I got some help, defending the kid being bullied. And that's the day I earned my wristband and became Agent G, a member of the Defender Network. And by completing your mission, you have earned your place on the Defender Network. You too can be a G.